بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد تفسير السادي او سوره النجم لتفسير سبي الشيخ عبد الرحمن بن ناصر الصادق رحمه الله اينا سو يريد تو دي سوره النجم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنجم اذا هوى بيد استاون اتسيت وما دل صاحبكم غوى ايو كومبانيون هاس نيد ستريد نو ايرد وما ينطق عن الهوى نو داز هي سبيك اوف هيز اون اكورد ان هو الا وحي يوحى ات از بيست ديفاين اسبيريشن علمه شديد القوى اي واز تاوت باي ذا وان مايتي ان باور دو مرات فاستوى ان دور وذ ايمنس ويسدوم نيمني جبريل هو مانيفيست هيم سيلف ان هيز ترو فورم وهو بالفوق الاعلى وين هو سباب ذا هوريزون ثم دنا فتدلى اي نعم ذن هي ابروتش اند كام داون فكان كابا قوسين وادنا until he was he was two ball lengths away or even nearer for he had abdi ma oha then he revealed to allah slave what he had to reveal for maka do for do mara he sat did not deny what he saw afata murana huwa la ma yara how can you then dispute with him concerning what he saw wala qad ra'ahu nazalat nazalat wala qad nazalat al ukra Indeed, he saw him a second time. In the in in the Sidrat al Muntaha, at the lottery of the outermost boundary, in the Hajjat al Ma'awa. I am when there. Uh, near we, near which uh, is the garden of uh, of a board idiak is that ma yaksha when they cover the lottery that which covered it ma za gal basar wa ma taqa is gaze did not wander or look beyond the limit laqad ra'a min ayat rabbih al kubra indeed he saw some of the greatest signs of his lord ya allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the stars when they said that is when they disappear below the horizon at the end of the night When the day comes, that is because there are great signs of Allah in that that makes it um, uh, that makes it appropriate or, uh, to swear by thereby. The correct view is that the word translated here as stars includes all heavenly bodies. Allah swears by the stars to the soundness of what the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, brought of brought of divine revelation. Because there is something amazing in common be, common between the two. Allah has made the stars an adornment for the heaven, and in like manner He has made the revelation and it fixed an adornment for the earth. Why it not for the knowledge inherited from the prophet the people will uh, will be in darkness greater than the, that of the darkest night the point made by this all is to declare the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam is far above being misguided in his knowledge and aims which implies that he is guiding his knowledge and that in guiding others he has the best intention and is, is utterly sincere towards the ummah this is a, this, this is in contrast to the followers of the of misguidance whose knowledge is corrupt and whose whose, whose aims are corrupt Your companion is described as the companions in order to alert them to, to, to what they already know of his sincerity and guidance and the fact that his character is not hidden from them. Nor does he speak of his own accord that is what he says does not stand from his own whims and desires. It is, it is but divine inspiration that is, he is only following what Allah reveals to him of guidance and righteousness. He is guided in himself and is guiding others. This indicates that the Sunnah is also a revelation from Allah to his Messenger as he says, For Allah has sent down to you the book and wisdom. He is, is protected and infallible with regard to what he says about Allah Azawajal and about religious rulings because this word should not stem, stem from his own whims and desires. Rather, they are based on divine inspiration. Then Allah mentions the teacher of the Messenger of namely Jibreel, والسلام, the best among us. is the best the strongest and most perfect of the angels he was taught by the one not in power that is the revelation was brought down to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam by jibril alayhi salatu wasallam mighty in power that is mighty in power both the visible and invisible he has the strength to carry out whatever allah commands him to and is and has the strength to convey the revelation to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and to protect it from the uh, the if is dropping of the devils or the or the attempts to insert it is trying to eat that which is not part of it it is part of allah's guiding his revelation that he sent it with the this powerful and Trust of the messenger, endowed with immense wisdom, power, good manners, and inner and outer beauty. 
namely Jibril uh, who manifested himself in his true form then he was he was above the horizon that is the horizon of the heaven which is lighter higher than the earth because he's one of the is one of the beings of the uh, upper rim whom the devils cannot reach then he namely Jibril alayhi salatu salam approached the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to convey the revelation to him and come down to him from upper horizon until he was uh, was, uh, was as close to him as two bow length away or even nearer that is or he was nearer than the distance of two bow length this is indicative of the ne- direct nature of the communication of the message the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the no intermediary between him and Ibrahim and and, and Jibril alayhi salatu salam then he revealed that that is uh, Jibril uh, as a uh, Jibril alayhi salatu salam uh, revealed by Allah's slave to Allah's slave namely Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what he had to reveal to of great uh, religious rulings and the insert part he said he did not deny what he saw that is the head of the Messenger of Allah and his, uh, and, and his sight were in agreement concerning the revelation that Allah revealed to him his hearing, his sight and his sight were all in harmony uh, which is indicative of the perfect nature of the revelation that Allah sent to him and that he received it as, uh, uh, in such a manner that there, there can be no doubt about it so he sat did not deny or doubt uh, what his, 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 his saw it may be it may be that what is referred to here is what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw on the night when he was taken on the night journey a letter of my signs of allah and that this and then that his sanatani was based on what uh, his, he, he realized in his heart and what he saw this is the correct view concerning the interpretation of this verse it's also suggested that the what is meant to the, is the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam having seen the lord and spoken with him on the night of the isra this is a view forward by many of the scholars may allah have mercy on them on the base of which they afflicted that the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam had seen his lord while he was in, in this world however the correct view is the first view mentioned above which is that what is meant is Jibril alayhi salatu salam as is indicated by the context and the and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam saw Jibril alayhi salam in his original or in his original true form twice once on the upper horizon below the lowest heaven as mentioned above and once above the seventh heaven on the night when the Messiah sallallahu alayhi salam was taken on the ninth journey hence Allah says indeed he saw him a second time that is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam saw Jibril a second time coming down to him at the low tree of the utmost boundary which is a very large tree above the seventh heaven it is called the lottery of the utmost boundary siratul muntaha because it at, uh, at it everything stops uh, and that descends from the earth and to it descends everything that comes down from allah of revelation uh, and and so on Aynam. or it is because the knowledge of humankind ends there in other words, it is above the heavens and the earth, and the utmost in this side, or it may be for some other reason, Allah knows best. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw Jibril in that place, which is the place of the most out- the most sublime, uh, pure and beautiful souls that cannot be approached by any devil or any other evil soul. Besides that, the, the tree there is the garden of abode, which is garden that contains all the delight. A place is the ultimate wish of Allah, the goal for which all strive, on which all desires are focused. This indicates that Friday is in the highest circulation above the seventh heaven. When they are covered, the low tree that which covered it, that is in accordance with the divine decree, it was covered by something very great, the description of which no one knows but Allah Azawajal, is getting not to wander or look beyond the limit, that is, he is getting not to wander right or left, away from what he saw or look beyond the limit, that is, he did not look any further that, that, than he was supposed to. His perfect etiquette on the part of the Prophet as he stood where Allah wanted him to stand, and did not fall short or go beyond, or beyond it or drift away from it. This is the most perfect duty uh, etiquette on which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has the first and the last. What is contrary to proper etiquette is one of the following scenarios. Either no, not carrying out what the person is instructed to do or carrying out uh, in a glittery manner or going to extremes uh, in uh, carrying it out or, or twisting it or not doing it exactly as told. None of this was applicable in the case of the Prophet Sallallahu Indeed, he saw some of the greatest signs of his Lord, such as paradise and hell, and other things that he saw on the night of the uh, Isra, uh, Isra night, uh, night journey. Amen. Al-Uzza, have you thought about Allah and Al-Uzza? ومناد الثالثة 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 الأخرى عن مناد الداد أن لست علىكم ذكر ولهم الأنثى do you choose male for yourself and for him females تلك إذا نكسم من بيزا that is indeed an unfair division إن هي لست ما سمعتموها أنتم أباكم أنزل بها من سلطان 
إن يتم إلى الدنيا وما تهوى الأنفس ولقد جاءهم رب ولقد جاءهم رب من ربهم الهدى أيوة There are there are no there are no more than names you have named you and your forefathers for which Allah has not sent down any authority. They follow nothing but a conjecture and what their own say own selves is there, although guidance has come to them from their Lord. Aywa. Amin insani matamanna is a man to have everything he wishes for. For Allah al Akhirat wal Ula. Nay to Allah belong the hereafter and the present. Having Commanded what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam brought of guidance, true religion, and the command to worship Allah and affirm His oneness, Allah, as Ajahn now mentions the falseness of what the polytheists did of worshiping that which did not possess any attribute of perfection at all and had no power to bring benefit to cause harm, rather they were mere names devoid of meaning that the polytheists and their ignorant misguided forefathers and had made up. These these were unreal names that the idols did not deserve. And by giving them these names, they de they deceive themselves and other misguided people. Hey now, uh, gods such as uh, uh, these are not deserving of even an atom's weight of worship. Uh, they call these idols by these names, claiming that they were they derived uh, from characteristics that they possess. So the name of Allah was derived from the word Al-Ilah, meaning that which is deserving of worship. The name Al-Uzza was derived from the word Aziz, mighty, and the name of Al-Manat was derived from the word Al-Manan, a bestow of blessings. This was a profane the distortion of the names of Allah and a way of associating others with Ahim. But these names were devoid of meaning because anyone who possesses the slightest reasoning will realize that these attributes are not applicable to these uh, idols. Do you choose males for yourself and for him females? In other words, do you ascribe daughters to Allah and you claim and want sons for yourselves? That is indeed an unfair division, for what unfairness can be greater than a division that implicitly gives precedence to the, to the, to the, to the created uh, slave of, of, of his creator? He says that be Allah for above what they say, they are no more than names you have named, you and your forefathers, for which uh, Allah has not sent down any authority, that is, that is, there is no proof or evidence for the suddenness of your view. Anything for which Allah did not send down any authority is false and corrupt, and it is not be, it's not be taken as religion. They themselves were not following any proof to give them certainty about what they believed. Rather, uh, what led them to that corrupt belief was conjecture and sheer ignorance, and their own inclination towards politism and innovation was, uh, was in accordance with their whim, whims and desires. In fact, there was nothing to make them follow conjecture. That is lacking access to knowledge and guidance. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Although guidance has come to them from their Lord, this guidance that shows them the way to affirmation of Allah's oneness and to prophethood and to all that people need, Allah has explained all of that in the most perfect and clearest manner. Uh, Inam and has established evidence and proof against them that require them and others to follow it so no one has any excuse or argument after they has come clear explanation and proof as for what uh, they follow all that they base is on conjecture and it will eventually lead to eternal misery and punishment so continuing on this path is the utmost foolishness and worst removing yet it is way that they still indulge in wishful thinking and deceive themselves the Allah SWT announces those who claim that they will get what they wish for for they are live for they are lying. I am. Yeah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala denounces those who claim that they will get uh, what they wish for. For what they are lying. It's a man to have everything he wishes for. Nay, to Allah belong the hereafter and the present. So he gives the off to whoever he wills and withholds from whoever he wills. So the matter is not in accordance with their wishes or with their whims and desires. وكم من ملك في السماوات لا تغني شفاعتهم شيء إلا من بعد أيد الله لما يشاء ويرد however 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 many angels there were may they they may be there may be in the heaven in the heavens the intention will not be of no avail except Allah after Allah has given leave to whoever he wills and is pleased with he Allah subhanahu wa taala announces those who worship others be they angels or otherwise are claiming that they will they will benefit them and intercede for them with Allah on the day of resurrection. However many angels who are there may be in the heavens, uh, noble angels who are close to Allah, 
the intersection will be of no avail that is they cannot benefit those who call upon them attach themselves to them and pin their hopes on them and after Allah has given leave to whoever he wills and is pleased with this that is both condition must be met Allah's permission for intercession and his and his being pleased with the, the, the one for whom intercession is made it is well known that no need will be accepted except that which is, is done essentially for the sake of Allah and according to the Islamic teaching therefore the polytheists will have no share of the intercession of the intercessors for they have uh, bared the way and defraid themselves of the mercy of the most merciful those who show mercy in Allah the one who is the one who is the one who is the one who do not believe in the hereafter regard the angels as female wa ma lahum bi ilmin in yatadun illa dhanna wa inna dhanna lahum minhaki shay'a but they have no knowledge of the matter they for nothing but conjecture but conjecture is no substitute for certain truth fa aridan man tawalna dhikna wa lam yudhil al hadith dunya so pay no heed to those who turn away from a message and who seek nothing but the life of this world ذلك مبلوه من علم ربك هو علم من دل الناس به ولا من يتدا ذات از ذا ستيت اوف ذا نوليدج ذات يو لورد نوز بيست هو از جون استري فروم هيز باد اند هي نوز بيست هو از ريتلي جاردد ذات از ذوز هو سكريب بترس تو الله اند از بيليف ان هيز ميسنجرز ار ذوز هو دو نوت بيليف ان ذا هي افتا اند ذا ريزون واي ذا نوت بيليف ان ذا هي افتا از ذات ذي شود اودستي ان ذا وردز اند ديز اوبوزين الله اند هيز ميسنجر صلى الله عليه وسلم سوتش از ذي سين ذات ذا انجلز هو ذا دوترز اوف الله Does they do not declare their Lord to be above having offsprings. They do not re respect or honor the angels, uh, and they do not are refrain from regarding them as female. In fact, they have no knowledge of such matters based on any text from Allah in, in, or from, from, from or, or from His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and there is no evidence to that effect on the basis of common sense or rational thinking. Rather, all knowledge points to the opposite of their view and indicate that Allah is far above having offspring or or, or, or a spouse. Because it's one and, un and unique, the eternal who begets not and is not begotten, and there is none like unto him, and the angels are noble and close to Allah, carrying out his command, they do not disobey Allah in whatever he commands them, and they do whatever they are commanded to do. Uh, the police are only basing their that or abhorrent view or a conjecture that is to uh, that is no substitute for the truth. For believe in the truth must be with certainty that is based on definitive proof and clear evidence. Because this was the attitude of these people who had no desire to follow the truth and their only aim was to follow what their own uh, selves desired. Allah commanded his message to Allah to turn away from those who turn away from his message, which is the wise reminder and the mighty Quran, so they turn away from the revelation knowledge and not seek anything but the life of this world that was all they wanted. It's well known that, they, that, that, that people only strive for the things that they want, so their efforts are limited to this world and its, and its pleasure and desires. Therefore, they take whatever measures will lead to that, and they hasten to make the most of whatever opportunity they may have. That is the extent of their knowledge. That is, that is this is all they know. Uh, as for those who believe in the hereafter, the, hereafter, uh, the people of under, understanding and uh, mature thinking, whose aspirations and goals are focused on the hereafter, their knowledge is the best uh, and most sublime of knowledge, for it is based on the book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Messenger Allah Sallam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala knows best who is deserving of forgiveness, so He guides him and who, and who does not deserve that, so He leaves him to his own devices and for and for and for sex him. Uh, so He He goes astray from the path of Allah. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Verily, your Lord knows best who has gone astray from His path, and He knows best who is really regarded." So he bestows his grace where he knows it must fitting and appropriate. وَلِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ لِيَجْزِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْوَوْا بِمَا مِلُوا وَيَجْزِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْنُوا بِالْحُسْنَى. To Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is on earth, and so He will requite those who do evil for their deeds, and He will reward those who do good with their best with their best reward. الذين يستنبون القبائل رتم والفوائش إلا لما من ربك واسع المغفرة وعلم بك وإذا نشأك من الأرض وإذا أنت وجنت في بطن وما تكون في الأرض ذكر نفسه وعلم من تقع أدوس هو أفويد مجسين سنشين في الديرس استو ما يمين الله بس فيرلي يا الله يزدين راس في الفقيمنس إنه سو يو بس from when he brought you forth from the earth and from when you were fetus in your mother's wombs so do not claim purity for yourselves for he knows best who is truly righteous he Allah سبحانه وتعالى تلاس that he alone owns everything in this world and in the hereafter, and that everyone in the heaven and, and on the earth belongs to Allah, and He controls and, dis and directs them in the manner of a great king with his slaves. They are subject to His and His will and decree, and to His laws and regulations. He issues commands and prohibitions to them, and, requ and requires them on the basis of what He commands, and forbids them to do. He rewards those who obey and punishes those who disobey, and so He will require those who do evil, deeds including disbelief and lesser misdeeds, 
for their deeds that is that is for they for they for what they do of evil i will requite them with the severe punishment and I will reward those who do good by worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and retreating and, and treating the creation of allah of allah kindly with the best reward that is with the best reward in this world and in the hereafter the greatest and, and most sublime of which is the pleasure of their lord and attaining the bliss of paradise then he describes them those who avoid major sins and shameful deeds that is they do, not, they, they, they do what allah enjoys upon them of obligatory deeds the omission of which consist the major sin and they refrain from infractions of major prohibition of adultery drinking alcohol consuming riba murder and similar major sins except of minor lapses this refers to minor sins in which a person does not persist or that he commits more than once but he only but only uh, but only rarely so by doing that does not exclude a person from being one of those who do good that happens when he also doing obligatory duties and refraining from what is prohibited it will become it will it will come under the forgiveness of allah which encompasses all things hence he says verily your lord is generous in forgiveness were it not for his forgiveness the land and the people would have been destroyed were it not for his pardon and forbearance the exile would have fallen upon the earth and he would have left a uh, left no living creature on the face of the earth and the prophet Salam said the five daily prayers once juma to, to another and one ramadan to another a expulsion for whatever comes in between them so long as major sins are avoided muslim he knows you best from when he brought you forth from the earth and uh, and from when you are fetus in your mother's womb hey hey now that is allah azza wa jal knows best all your circumstances and he knows your inherent nature of weakness and inability to do much of what allah has enjoined upon you and your strong inclination towards some prohibited matters for which there is a great deal of temptation and and no strong impediment your weakness was quite obvious when allah brought you forth from the earth and when you were in your mother's so in your mother's homes and it is still present in you even though allah azawajal has given you some strength to help you carry out what he enjoins you to do the weakness is still present because he knows of your weak condition divine wisdom and generosity dictate that that he should shower you with his mercy forgiveness and pardon bestow his kindness upon you and remove evil deeds and sins from you especially if an individual's aim is to please his lord at all times and is striving to do that which will bring her bring him close to allah most of the time and he and he is feeling from the sins that may lead to him inquiring the wrath of his lord it is slips up uh, it slips uh, up time after time allah is most generous and merciful is more merciful for his slaves and um, a mother to her child therefore the person must be close to his lord's forgiveness and allah will surely return to him in all circumstances hence allah says so do not claim purity for yourself that is do not tell people that your souls are pure by way of self repress for he knows best who is truly righteous the place of righteousness is the heart and it, and it is allah who sees it and will reward what the heart contains of righteousness and pity as for people they cannot have value in the slightest before allah hey now أفرأيتم الذي تولى Have you seen the one who turns away from Allah وعطى قليلا وعقدا Who gives a little and then stops عنده علم الغيب فهو يرى Does he have knowledge of the unseen such that he has insight أم لم ينبه ما في سوف موسى Or has he not been informed What is in the scripture of موسى وإبراهيم الذي وفى and the end of ibrahim who fulfill his duty allah tazru wazra wazra ukhra that no bear of burdens can be the burden of another wala laysa lil insani illa ma sa'a that man will have nothing but what he strives for wa anna sa'yahu sawfa yura that is this will be examined ثم 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 يجزاه جزاء الاوفى اين دين هي ويل بي ريكويتد ان فول وان الى ربك منتهى ذات ذا دي ايوا ذا ديفينس نشن شو ديال لورد وانا هو ادكا وابكا ذات از ات از هي هو ميكس بيبل لاف اند ويب one who am at wahya that it is he who causes death and gives life one who khalaqa zawjan dakara wal untha that he created two guardians male and female that he created 
two genders male and female بين نسبة إذا تمنا from an ejected room of spam وعنا ليه نشطة الأخرى that incubated upon him is the second creation وعنا هو أقنا وأقنا that it is he who enriches and bestows bestows wealth هنا أيوة أهلك أه أيوة وأنه أهلك آدم أولى it is he who is the lord of لا لا that he destroyed the ancient tribe of Ad أيوة وأنه رب شيرة that it is this is number forty nine that is verse forty nine that is it is that is it is he who is the lord of Sirius Sirius أينام so I I skip that one وتمودا فما أبقى وتمودا فما أبقى and destroy the ancient tribe of لا 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 وأنه وأنه أهلك أعدا أولى that he destroyed the ancient tribe of Ad, and that he destroyed the ancient tribe of Ad, and that he destroyed the people of No before them who were more wicked and more rebellious. And he toppled the cities of and he and he toppled the cities of a drone. La 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 la. Well, mutafikat yahwa. That is fifty three, fifty three. And he top and he toppled the cities of a drone. Fagasha ha ma gasha. The the thus they were utterly overlapped by divine punishment. Fabi ayar bikhana tamara. And then which of the favors of your Lord do you adopt? هذا نذير من نذير الأولى. إنعم. This prophet is a warner like the warners old. أزفة الأزفة. The imminent judgment draws draws nigh. ليس لها من دون الله كاشفة نان بات الله كان ديسكلوس إت أفمن هذا الحديث تعجبون دو يو دين واندا أت ديس ديسكوس دي قرآن وهذا كون ولا تبكون نعم أن لا فاسد أن نتويب وأنتم سامدون ويل يو ريمين هدلس فاسجدوا لله وعبدوا so praise to Allah and worship Him. Have you seen? Have you seen the reprehensible condition of the one who is commanded to worship his Lord, and 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 affirm his oneness, but uh, he turns away from that. If he feels like giving a little in charity, he will not persist in doing so. Rather, he will become stingy. Stop giving, uh, stop giving, and withhold, and withhold his charity. Such such a one is not charitable by nature. Rather, his nature is to turn away uh, and uh, be disobedient, and not to persist in doing in doing char charitable deeds. It is way that he presses himself and raises himself to a status over his true status, status before Allah. Does he have a knowledge of the unseen, just that he, he has an uh, that he, he has an insight into the unseen and speaks of it, or does he attribute falsely to Allah things that he never said? Audaciously uh, combining bodies with self praise, as, as is indeed the case, because he knows that he has no knowledge of the unseen, and that if he makes such a claim, the divinity the, uh, information about the unseen that was brought by the inf 
infallible prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is contrary to what he says and that proves that what he says is false or he or has he namely the one who makes the, this claim has been informed of what is in the scripture of Musa and of Ibrahim who fulfilled his duty that is he did, he did he did everything with which Allah tested him and that he commanded him to do of lost and that fundamental and minor matters of religion those those scriptures contain many rulings you know among the most significant of which are the those mentioned here that no bear of burdens can be at the bottom of another that man will have nothing but what he strives for that is each person who strives will have his own deeds both good and bad and no one will uh, have a share of the deeds and efforts of uh, another and of any other person nor will anyone carry another person burden of sin that his deeds will be examined in the hereafter and his good deeds will be distinguished from his bad deeds then he will be requited in full that is purely a good deeds will be requited with that which is the best paradise purely bad deeds will be requited with that which is the worst he worst the worst hell and deeds that are mixed with they will be requited accordingly all of creation will will, uh, will uh, acknowledge with the justice and the kindness of Allah and will praise Allah for that to the extent that even when people of hell enter the hell uh, their hearts will be filled with praise of their Lord and acknowledgement of his perfect wisdom and their own uh, lewd so many says they will acknowledge that it is they, it is they who uh, brought it upon themselves and caused themselves to meet this bad fate this verse that uh, that man will have nothing but what he strives for is quoted as evidence by those who think that a reward for acts of worship cannot be given to anyone else whether, whether alive or dead they say that is that that is because allah says that man will have nothing but what he strives for so the idea that the efforts of others for his sake uh, may benefit him in contrary to that but this view is subject to a further discussion in fact the, uh, the verse indicates that each person will have only what he strives for himself it is true and there is no disagreement concerning that but, but there is nothing in the verse to indicate that he cannot benefit from the effort of another person if the person gives the reward to him by the same token a man has no wealth but what he owns but that does not mean that he cannot take possession of what another person gives him of the letters on wealth The divine destination is with the Lord. That is, all things will ultimately come to Him. All cases will return to Him at the restoration. The divine destination is with Him in all in cases, and He possesses the ultimate knowledge, wisdom, mercy, and all perfect attributes. That is, that is, that is, that it is. He who makes people laugh and weep. That is, it is He who create who creates uh, the causes that lead to uh, to slaughter and weeping, to laughter and and, and weeping namely good and bad joy and happiness war and sorrow and there is great divine wisdom in that that it is who causes death and gives life that it that is uh, he is the only one who brings into existence or causes the, the, the cessation of existence who brought people into being and issued commands and prohibition to them. He will bring them back after they die and will require them for, the, for those deeds that they did, they did in this world. That he created two, uh, two genders, uh, which, he ex which he explains by saying, male, male and female, this is general in meaning and includes all living beings, both both those that speak and those that cannot speak it is you alone who creates them uh, from an ejected drop of spam, uh, semen this is one of the greatest proofs of the perfect nature of his power and that he alone is, uh, is almighty as he brought all things all, all these all these living things small and great into being from an insignificant drop of semen which is a wordless liquid then he causes it to grow and perfect it until it reaches its possession and becomes a human being uh, who will either rise up to the highest status uh, with those on high or we, or, we, or, or we sing to the worst status among the lowest of the low and so if the beginning of creation in order to prove the creation is easy for him as he says that incumbent upon him is the second creation when he will bring people forth from their graves and gather them together on the appointed day when he will require them for their deeds both good and bad uh, that, that, that is that is that it is he who enriches and bestows wealth that is he enriches people by making it easy for them to earn a, li a, a, a livelihood through trade and different uh, procession of crafts and well that is he bestows all kinds of wealth abundantly upon his slaves and people become owners of, uh, of much of it and uh, many items become their property that this is this is by his kindness toward his slaves 
for all for all for all blessings come from him which requires people to give thanks to him and to worship him alone with no pattern or such that is uh, that is uh, that it is who is the lord of uh, Syria. Syria is the star or known as the, the the dog star Allah, Allah singles out a uh, formation Although he is the Lord of all things because the star was, the star was mentioned during the Jahiliyyah, that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes the fact that the like of uh, what the politics worship is controlled and created. So how can it be taken as a god uh, alongside Allah that he destroyed the ancient tribe of Ad? They were the people of who the alayhi salatu wasalam rejected Hud. So Allah destroyed them with the furious violent wind. And Tamud who were the people of Saleh, uh, of Saleh uh, alayhi salatu wasalam, Allah sent, uh, sent him uh, say Allah sent him to Tamud, but they rejected him. Then Allah sent the she camel to them as a sign, but they, they, they strung her and rejected him. So Allah Azza wa Jal destroyed them, sparing none, rather he destroyed them, the last uh, man. And he destroyed the people of Noah before them, who are more wicked and more rebellious than these nations. So Allah destroyed them and drowned them in the sea. And he toppled the cities of Adron, which were the cities of the people of Lot, uh, salam, Allah treated them with the punishment with which he had never punished uh, any before the nation before. He turned their houses upside down and raised down upon them a shower of stones of Bekele. Hence he says, Thus they were utterly enveloped by divine punishment, that is the terrible, punish, uh, the terrible painful punishment, enveloped them in the utterly in the indescribable manner. Then which of the favors of your Lord do you, do you do? That is which of the blessings and bounties of Allah do you do? O oh man, for the visible blessings of Allah cannot be adopted. There is no blessing but it is from him, and none can ward or punishment accept him. Uh, this prophet is a warner like warners of all. That is this Qurayshi Hashim Messenger Muhammad, Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's not without a president among the messengers. Rather, there were, were earlier messengers who come before him, who called the same message of Asim. So why are you so averse to his message? On what grounds do you reject uh, his call? And are not his character and attitude the most sublime character and attitude of, of the noble messengers? Does he not call to all that is good and prohibit all that is evil? Has he not brought the Holy Quran which no falsehood can approach from before it or from behind it? It is a revelation from one who is most wise and praiseworthy. Did, did, did Allah not to destroy those who reject the noble messengers who came before him? So what is there uh, pre uh, prevent a uh, similar punishment bewailing? Uh, those who disbelieve in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the foremost of the messengers, uh, the leader of the righteous who slims will shine with traces of hudu in the hereafter. The imminent judgment draws, hard, draws nigh, and the resurrection is at hand, for it is a time is near, and signs have appeared, uh, none but Allah can disclose it. That is when the resurrection will come, and the promise, uh, and the promise, and the promise punishment will befall them. Then Allah wants those who reject the message of the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, reject what has brought of the Holy Quran. Do you then wonder at this disclosure of the Quran? That is, do you wonder at this discourse, which is the best and noblest of speech, and regard it is something extraordinary? You know, this this stems for from the, from the ignorance, misguidance, stubbornness. Uh, otherwise, it's a discourse which, it, when it speaks, it tells the truth, and when it says something, it is it is it is, it is a, it's a decisive word, and it's, it's no joke. It is the mighty Quran, which is if it had been sent down upon a mountain, you will have seen it humble and rent asunder out of fear of Allah. In the case of the people of wisdom, in wisdom, uh, mature thinking, steadfastness, faith, and his assurance, what should be, uh, what should be uh, seen as strange is a man whose reasoning makes him find it strange. It's amazing how foolish and misguided he is, and laugh at it and not weep. That is, they resorted to laughter and recall when dealing with it, even though uh, what should be the case is that they should be, it, should, it, should, it should have an impact on their hearts and souls, and they should, te and, 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 and they should shed tears uh, when they hear its command and prohibitions, listen to its uh, promises and warnings, and pay attention to it through glad tidings, uh, while you remain uh, heedless, that is, heedless of it, discredited from uh, reflecting upon it, that is because of your lack of rational thinking and religious uh, commitment. For if you worship Allah and sought His pleasure in all situations, you will not be able. You will not be in this state which people and, and, and uh, which people of understanding will not like to, like like to be in. And Salah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "So prostrate to Allah and worship Him." The command prostrate to Allah in particular serves the, to highlight the virtue of this action, which is the core and essence of worship. The core and essence of which is humility before Allah and submission to Him. 
Procession is the greatest employment station of humility and submission, in which a person's heart and body are in a state of humility as he places his noblest faculties on the lowly ground, which is the place where he with which 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 fit the tread. Then Allah enjoys worship, Allah enjoys worship in general terms, which includes all that Allah loves and is pleased with with the, with the words and this both visible and hidden. This is the end of the commentary on Surah Al-Najm. Al -Al -Najmi. Uh, all praise and thanks are for Allah and, 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 and may the praise and peace of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his family and his companions.